Alrighty then, hey guys, what's up? It's Sizzent here, and I just wanted to do a little bit of a vlog, I guess, a little bit of an update. So, um, I finished the bracer and this lovely little DIY dress form, and I'm gonna have videos about those two things going up shortly. I have all of the footage, I just hate editing shit. So, I want to share with you, dear viewer, a little bit of my madness, and that is to say the gloves on this outfit. Now, because of my particular drive, focus, irrationality on this project and wanting as much as possible to be completely made by me from scratch, I've decided that rather than buying and altering gloves, I'm gonna make them because why not? I did it with the shirt and that took me forever. Incidentally, in the last video, I mentioned hoping to have this done before the Netflix series premiered, and as we can all see, that was hopelessly misguided. But the point of this is that I thought to myself, oh, neat, I'll just make the gloves and that'll be a thing. I finished the, the braces here and Honestly, I think these came out pretty beautifully, but I am very biased. What was I even saying? And so I decided, yes, I will just make these gloves. It will be simple. You know, it will be relatively quick. I've never made gloves before, so I'll look up some tutorials, see how to do it, yada, yada, yada. I'll get my pattern from the game. Like with the medical shirt, City Project Red have gone to such great lengths to show you exactly where all of the seams are. It really feels wasteful or disrespectful, or I don't know, to, to, to not use that information that's been given to me. And so I went and had a look at some of the screenshots from the game and why don't I show you so then just to give a quick rundown because this was news to me as well this has been a learning experience this is an old glove now most gloves have these little bits so the fingers as you can see are a 2d shape that traces around the shape of a finger and then they've got these little these little bits on the side called forchettes I uh, believe that's how you pronounce it. And what they do is basically add volume to the fingers. So you can see here, it's not just two pieces meeting. There are these little triangular pieces that run all the way down to the webbing of the finger to give the finger volume. So the problem as it stands is that these aren't shown in the glove. So here are my collection of screenshots that I painstakingly took from the inventory screen of the game. So looking around, you can see zooming in, every single seam is shown, including the seams on the back of the hand where I lost some volume, but the thumb has no foreshadow. The thumb is split right down. Back of the pinky, no foreshadow. Not that unusual, but from some of these screenshots, you can see right there on the ring finger, no foreshadow, single seam running down the side of the finger, which was very frustrating to me because this is clearly a video game, not constrained by the limits of the real world as we know them, but alas, they're plain as day for anyone who wants to carefully position Geralt in the inventory screen and have a look. Absolutely no for shirts on any of the fingers. And so using the uh, dining table as all good cosplayers do, I've made a pattern of a glove that I think I'm happy with. The thumbs inside out because I'm a moron. This is Mark five here is the corresponding pattern here are the three other gloves that i made these are all left-handed gloves that i made to test out patterns and try and get a fit these aren't pairs these are all of the patterns that i made in the lead up from these duct tape hand molds that i'll um go over obviously when we get up to the glove video but it's very similar to the way that you make a duct tape mannequin so after literally five full revisions of different methods of construction, different ways of doing the thumb jointed rather than separate, different ways of adding width to the top of the hand and not the palm. I finally arrived at a pattern that I'm happy with. I finally used that pattern to produce a glove that I'm happy with. I'm finally ready to make this goddamn thing out of the leather that I bought for this months ago. So yes, I've basically spent a lot more time making these videos and trying to document the whole process than I thought it would take in addition to just other general bullshit life setbacks that I never seem to account for no matter what kind of project I'm doing, even though they happen every time and I really should have learnt by now. At any rate, hope you guys enjoy this little bit of a different, more vlog format. At the very least, I hope you found it somewhat interesting and let me know if you did. At any rate, I'll uh, catch you guys next time. Take it easy.